What up, what up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today on Fitness Tech Reviews, we're gonna be going over the Xiaomi Mi Body Composition Scale 2. So this was recommended to me by Ahmed Darwish that did it on the Smart Scale P1. That wasn't my favorite scale. Let's go ahead and see if the Mi Band Body Composition Scale 2 will be a little bit better. But let's go ahead and get right into it. do is open up this guy this does have bluetooth 5.0 built in you will need four triple a batteries to get this guy going though it is going to be compatible with android 4.4 or ios 9 or better and any device with bluetooth 4 or better all right taking it out the cardboard is a little bit more interesting than i thought it might be I guess I got the white scale version. It's got a couple of electrodes pulling it out of its sleeve. It's a relatively nice looking scale. And of course, you got all four AAA batteries here at the bottom. And right in here, I do believe this is going to be, yep, this is your manual if you need that. And you got some other manuals here as well. And of course, you need to download the Me app to get this guy going. But what I am going to do is I'm going to test this guy, see if it's really something that's worth the money. I believe I got this for 25 bucks on Amazon. See if it's actually comparable with its body fat percentages and stuff like that. But I'll go ahead and see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, I've been using the Me Body Composition Scale for a little bit, and I have some thoughts. First, it works pretty well with your weight. No problems really with that. Looks pretty sleek, and I like how the display kind of pops up on top. You really can't even notice there's a display on there when it's just on the floor. And uh, it syncs up to the app pretty easily, so that's great. You can kind of check that from there. Other than that, we want to talk about body fat percentage. Yeah. It didn't too, do too well. It got me in at 26.6. Uh, my water was insufficient, so I'll give it that. I definitely didn't take in much, as much water as I probably should have today. A little hoarse today, uh, but of course I train a lot. Um, visceral fat is high. Uh, my protein levels, my basal metabolic rate is low as well. I got rated at about, like, I believe, 1850 uh, kilocalories. My body age is 40. Um, and my ideal weight is 151. Uh, yeah, I'm overweight. So yeah, this isn't the most accurate thing in the world, especially if you're talking about body fat percentage. So I really wouldn't trust this guy for anything other than just getting your weight and being able to track it. It does not go into the Fitbit ecosystem, sadly, uh, but you can actually uh, merge it with Google Fit. So if you use Google Fit, I don't know who does, but if you do, that works. So just in general, I just wouldn't really recommend this scale really at all. But if you guys have any recommendations for for scales, please comment down below. Again, I got it from Ahmed to try this one out. He wanted to see how my testing went. Sorry, Ahmed, really wouldn't trust this scale too much if you're looking for body fat percentage. But if you guys have any inquiries on what you would like to do, comment down below. I'll make sure to get those in as soon as I can. Well, hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, please smash that like button. And if it was really helpful for you guys, please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you guys will be one of the first ones to know when my newest video comes out. But as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and above all, stay positive. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.